Hello, welcome to the Star Family Farm <clears throat> Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have James 2.26. As a body without the spirit is dead, the so faith without deeds is dead. So, just remember to put your actions, you know, let your actions speak the word too. You know what I mean? It's one thing to say it, but another to do it. So, all right, today... I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I have too many things going on. Um, just, I used to not be like this. I used to do one um, project at a time. And this is why. Because I get overwhelmed when I have too many things going on. And today I have too many things. This whole weekend I have too many things going on. Um... And I don't know how I got this way because I didn't set out to get this way. So, all right, let's attempt these right here. So this is the second one. I got the first one totally done. These are um, two Christmas gifts. I just have the sleeves to do. Now this is the smaller one. So I've got uh, the total. The sleeve is a total of 17 rounds. 15 double crochet, two single crochet, and then I do the round, the, the trim. So I have two rounds of trim after this. So I've only got one sleeve done, or it's not even done, one sleeve. I still have the other one to do, and then the trim. So, <coughs> I'm sorry, my sinuses are killing me today. So I have that one. And I did work the last two evenings on it, trying to get it done. So, yeah, it has it isn't done yet, but once those two are done, then they're the biggest, bulkiest projects I have. Okay. The other thing that I did that, of course, I have these kits. I still have three of them um, to do. And they haven't been started. I still need to get them done. But I have this little guy started. Because Easter's coming up. And I think I'm on row 16 or 18. I'd have to go back and count. But I have his little body going. Um, don't have him stuffed yet. But... Honestly, he just has the ears and the nose because I use googly eyes and that one already has a home for Easter um, And I think this one has a home for Easter as soon as I get it made um, so Yeah, um Let's see what else? Uh, I did an investment that I really like so I also worked on um, my ugly Christmas sweater. Now, it's a twofold because this is what I made, and then I simply made a front and back granny square, and I seam. And yes, I used white for a reason, and then I just seamed the top, making a head, and then I seamed right down here at the side. Um, and so it goes; it'll go over a white or black shirt and that's going to be my uh, ugly Christmas sweater contest thing at work which is fine um but then once I get done the reason I used white is because I want to be able to take it out easily so um these two will become their two Christmas pillows but first, they're going to be my sweater. So, uh, yeah, we have traditional red, white, green, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a set of Christmas pillows. And I got that done this week. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Now, uh, I just am tucking everything around. There's too many going on. I've also, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, 
I still have the two shadow boxes. I still have the sunflower to finish so that I can get that first one put all together. Uh, then I still have the purple one, the lavender to do. So, yeah, not, not quite there yet. But I'm getting them done. I've got to get the shadow box done, these three things done, the pink things done, uh, before I order anything else. Those are the things that I'm going to get done. And I have been working diligently. I just don't feel like I'm making progress. Um, and then, of course, I made the two pillow things for the, um, what do you call it? Sweater. Ugly sweater. So... Um, yeah, did all that, but I have been looking online and these are terrible words. Um, you always get sucked down rabbit holes and other things pop up and you never know where you're going when you're looking online. So I was looking online at these, so what boxes, um, I haven't really done any sewing this week. I hemmed a pair of pants. That's it. Um, and I just, I think it's because I'm overwhelmed with the crochet stuff, but I really want to get inspired and find some projects that I can embroider, personalize, and make for Christmas. So, sorry, I got it. Like, okay. Uh, so I had been looking for some kits or ideas and this so what box thing keeps popping up and it comes with pre-cut uh fabric a pattern some extras you know how kits are um and i thought i might try that and then i remembered the crochet kits i used to get and i thought oh i should just start doing those again because i just don't know then i looked around and i have enough stuff to do I, I need to get the crochet stuff done that I have in hand but anyway so I was looking through the the whole so what thing and I, and I might do that um just because I need some inspiration I need some gifts I've made the kids all bags I've you know um it is what it is I just need some ideas that are you know, things I can make and embroider. So, and of course, like I said, the kids are inundated with bags. I have made sure that everybody has every size bag they would ever need. I have made laptop bags. I've made rope bags. I have made uh, bags for clothes. I have made makeup bags. I have made just carry on regular snack bags. I have made lunch bags. I have made everything in uh, beauty business bags. <laughs> um, so yeah we've made all those things so while i was trying to find other ideas this popped up in my ideas and yes it's a bag now there is one special special feature about this bag and this is why i bought it now actually there's two okay first off i had a 25 dollar amazon card it was a gift and it was $24.99. I only had to pay $6.99 shipping and handling. Okay. So for $6, $7, this is a good bag. This is a good size bag. So there's a couple of things that reasons that I got this bag. Okay. First off, it holds a ton and I don't even have it. It's expandable and I have never even done this, so we'll see how, how far down it expands. So, oh my, it expands quite a bit, so. Okay. So yeah, it expands quite a bit, that, quite a bit of room. Um, and the other thing about this, and you can see them coming through, it has the little thing so it holds let me see if i can do this i think it holds like 
eight skeins of yarn in there and then you pull the thing up and put it through the hole and then you can crochet with it out the hole. I'm not too sure that I like the little tab keepers. This is Velcro and it kind of sticks to the yarn but I mean it doesn't destroy the yarn it just sticks to the yarn and I'm not sure I like that. Um, it's got tons of pockets and I have got my hooks in the front one. These are the little hooks that come out of the kit. There's another one and then in the back you've got a clear plastic one. So there are tons of pockets. It is super expandable, which I knew it expanded. I just hadn't had a reason to expand it. So it's huge and it's actually pretty well made and it's uh, made, it, it just says crafts across the front. Found it on Amazon, $24.99. They have a medium one that doesn't hold as much. And yeah, I haven't looked into that one, but it held everything and I crocheted and it pulls them out real nice when I was working on this. Three of these are the colors that are in there and I use that bag um, to keep them all up out of the way. So it really, my white, it was a bigger skein and I didn't expand it, but then I just put them up through the top because you've got six holes around the sides so, and there's pockets and you can put the six around the side and then in the center you have two up at the very top on this where you can put them down through the center so the bigger skein even though i could put it in the pocket there's the light right there even though i put it in the pocket i used one of these up here because it was taller and i didn't expand the bottom down I'll bet you now that it's expand. Well, no, because it's in a pocket. Um, it didn't, you know what I mean? It would pull too tight. It was hard to pull out, but once you got it in the right hole, it just pulls right out. Not a big deal. So, um, and it holds six full size skeins very easily. And I'm talking, uh, let me see how many. This one is, I want to say it's three point something ounces. Doesn't even tell me the ounces. Oh, okay. I have not read this. Oh, there we go. Oh, it tells it's 355 yards, uh, seven ounces. So a regular skein. All right. This is love this yarn. Regular skein that you get at Hobby Lobby or whatever, it holds eight of those super, super easy. Now, if you put the bigger one, the bigger skein in there, like the white that I had, it will, it doesn't hold as many, but it puts six around that outside and two in the center, super easy. And then there's all that space down at the bottom that I expanded out, which I hadn't used any of the expanded when I did all of those skeins of yarn. So amazing bag for the price. It's well made. It's all canvas. Um, this is nylon. It's got a drawstring at the top. There is a medium size one that has a zipper top, but I wanted the large one um, because it holds more. Okay. But very well constructed. Here's the little, it just says crafts and it's got a ball of yarn and it's got two pockets that you can put hooks in. The only problem with these is these are from the kit. And so when you put them in there, oh, I'm sorry, there, it's got three pockets. When you put them in there, they're too short and they go all the way down in and I'll never get them back out. So I shoved them in here, um, but there, there's the three here and then a square, and then on each side, there's a good size one, um, and then the back is the bundle. So, and inside, there are the pockets that hold each skein of yarn in place. 
so it's a pretty cool little bag and considering i only paid shipping and handling for it i think i did okay so that was my gift with a 25 dollars gift card from amazon uh other than that guys i'm really gonna get off here and like i said i'm just struggling i want to get all of this done i want to look some more into that so what box i've seen reviews go either way um I don't know if I'm going to do a monthly box or a one-time box. I might do the one-time box and then try the monthly if it's what I think. I've seen reviews that say I can get that stuff at Walmart cheaper. I've seen reviews saying that the um, material isn't as good quality. And then on the flip side, I've seen everybody super excited and, oh, it's a great box and everything's pretty cut and all that stuff. So my thing is, is that, <sighs> sorry, if I was to get the box and there was something that I want to recreate, I could trace patterns out, you know, how I am. So it's basically for inspiration. Uh, and they said there's like extra fabric and little notions that come with it. And so, I don't know. I want to wait until I get all these things finished. The two shadow boxes, the four pudgies, and the two sweaters done before I order anything. Um, and then I think that's going to be my inspiration for Christmas. Uh, but we shall see and i'm hoping that it's projects that you, i could embroider and personalize for my family so we'll see if you've ever done a so what box let me know um and let me know what the kits are like uh and that way i'd at least have some input that i trusted <laughs> reading uh reviews online they are too easy to fake one business can have everyone in their family go do a great review for them doesn't mean that it's factual or that you know it, it's easy to put a oh my god this is so great online but you don't know where they're coming from is the problem you don't know if it's an actual customer you don't know if um i mean it's too easy to fake google reviews anymore so yeah I'm just kind of hesitant but really i'm thinking i want to try it just need to get all these things done first yeah i did get the fire pit finally put together that we uh for christmas that we got roommate yay um, and just so you know, it says assembly is 20 minutes. It took me 20 minutes just to lay out the parts and figure out what everything was. Then they labeled the screws on the front with different numbers. And then you had to look on the parts list and those numbers told you which part number they went with. It was crazy. But I got her done. I did get her done. Um, it's all put together. We haven't started a fire yet, but that's coming next. So it'll be nice to oh, I'm sorry, sit out on the porch and have a little fire out there and, you know, sit around and blow and go and talk. So anyway, all right, I'm going to get off of here because I am just babbling about things that I've done. Um, I plan on getting these things done. Uh, I'm hoping to do one of these a night. That means they will be done within a week. And then I just have the big ones to do and the shadow boxes. So, who knows? I may sit and that's a mindless knit. I, I'm pointing that it's the big uh, blanket sweaters. Uh, they're mindless. And so it's super easy to do those at night when the TV's on and I'm just unwinding. So, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try really hard to get all this stuff done this week. Oh. Um, 
at least the little animals and those sweaters. I may not get the shadow boxes done, but I'm okay with that. So, but I'm going to get off here, go get ready for work, and I will see y'all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.